<laughs> Hello, it's me, Soapbox Susie, and it is unboxing day. Yes! Seriously, such a good day of the week. Well, not week, because it only happens on a monthly basis, but it is awesome. So today, I do believe, in this little pink box here, it is the November Birch Box. So, let's get into it and have a look. First of all, apologies if the lighting's really bad. We've been out all day at a Christmas fair that was really pants, and I'm talking like, just not good. And it's been raining literally all day. It stopped, I don't know, an hour or so ago. Oh, I don't really know because my yeah, my eldest was at his swimming lessons so we were in the pool and we didn't really notice. But literally, a raining solidly all day. It was like the trees down and really nasty, horrible weather. But I don't know if we just getting into this box. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, so this month they are doing a collaboration with Skinny Dip, um, I believe, which is what it's got on here. Now, I don't know if this Skinny Dip that they're collaborating with is the same Skinny Dip that I know, and the Skinny Dip that I know and have heard of, I believe, I might be wrong, I'll put it down below if I am, uh, were a mobile phone case company. So, we will see. But yes, yeah, so here is the box. Very cute, indeed. Liking that a lot. And let's see what's inside. Okay, won't be looking at this. The usual little bag. A little pink affair this time. Let's see, ooh, ooh. Even with my snotty nose, I got a scent of something there. Oh, okay. So, first things first, I'm gonna grab this because this is what I very first saw. So, this is Lord and Berry, some sort of pencil in color, well, it's not really a color, it's, it looks white, in silhouette. I'm gonna have to break into the book already. Sad time. I don't like cheating. I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I feel like I'm letting myself down. Right, Lord and Berry Silhouette Neutral Lip Liner. Wow. <gasps> Shut the front door. This could be my lifesaver. So it's basically yeah, a, na a neutral lip liner. So they're saying smudge lippy, lippy and wobbly lines with think of the past with this neutral lip liner. Apply it before sweeping on your favourite shade for a super precise lip with no unsightly bleeding. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Because literally you don't even understand the issues that I have and the struggles that I have on a daily basis. But especially when I'm wearing colours like today, with it bleeding and smudging around the edge of I literally, it drives me up the wall. I, I just go mad. So I am really, really genuinely excited to try this. That is awesome. So, there you go. That is that. Cow shed, cow pat. Ooh, moisturizing hand cream. So, here you go. Um, let's give it a little go. See what it smells like. Ah. Sneakily, sneakily. All these little seals every time. Oh. Okay. That's ours. Oh, okay. I was thinking this is what I smelt actually when I opened the box, which is a bit bizarre seeing as it was sealed. Oh. Mm. It smells similar to one that I got in my glossy box last month, actually. So I don't even know what this smell is. But it's claiming it's grapefruit tones. Uh, and coriander. Right, I love cooking. I, oh, that was some sort of magic. I love cooking. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. And I love herbs. I have an extensive herb collection. Coriander is one of my least favorites um, of the fresh variety. 
I won't go like chucking it in everything generally. So that is literally, that is, that is kind of the smell that I'm getting, this is bizarre. Not, not sure how much I love it, but there you go. Not sure how much I love it, but hey ho, there we go. It's hand cream at the end of the day, isn't it? It's hand cream. Well, what is this? Literally just a hairband, I think, with a weird bubble thing on it. Uh, hmm. This is the beauty treat, apparently. Grab and go ponytail holder. Now I'm confused. It says £11.50 for a set of 15 and I've got one in here, so did we not get the full set? We just got the one? That's a little bit stingy, um, I've got to say. Um, Claims without snagging, that's I've got a lot of hair. Um, I'm a little bit sad about this. I would have liked to have had at least a set of three or something because you know what it's like losing hair bands, literally, especially with my hair, literally. I'll put a hair band in and then I won't find it for about three weeks. And then all of a sudden I'll be like, ah, what's where that hair band went? So yeah, um, but that's that. Uh, not very excited about that, I'm not gonna lie. There we go, hey ho. Next is the Delarom Aqua Comfort Cream. What is that when it's at home? I'm not loving how much I'm having to refer to the manual. I really feel like I'm letting everyone down. Delarom. When your complexion feels a little sorry for itself, which is quite frequently here, this rejuvenating cream uses almond, apricot oils, and vitamin E to nourish and soothe dehydrated skin from first use. A divine, apparently. So after cleansing, massage into your face and neck and let it sink in and do its work. So, just a face cream. Let's see if it's got a sniff, sniff a lift to it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Just smells like face cream. No special sniff a lift to it. There we go. Right, next, look, living proof. And it's got frizz with a slash through it. Nourishing styling cream stops frizz, period. Weightlessly blocks humidity, soothes, smooths and conditions. So, whack it in your hair when it's damp from root to tins and let it do its thing. So it's applied generously. If I was to apply this generously, that would all go in one sitting on this mop of hair. Seriously. So, I'll give it a go next time I wash it. I washed it this morning, so that won't be for a few days. But let's see if it smells. Uh, yeah, I think it's got a slight sniff to it. But last but by no means least, <laughs> I think I'm lying. Uh, Pure and Light Organic Revitalizing Facial Exfoliation. Dual action cleansing cream. So it's just a cleansing cream. A little tiny sample. I, I'm really, really, really underwhelmed by this box. This is probably my least favorite box so far. Again, no real smell. Um, where's it gone on here? Yeah. Um, it, it just it's a really underwhelming box I, but all in all the actual products that I've got in this box I'm really really not overly excited about the only thing that I am genuinely excited to try is the lip liner um, yeah I'm really looking forward to trying this and I hope it works and I think part of the reason I'm really underwhelmed is that the only Thing in this box that we got that was full size was this hand cream and to me that is not a very generous full size product it's 50 ml so that's a small full size product the rest are all sample sizes um, 
And they're all very samey, like I'm not feeling like there's anything really special or different apart from this lip liner. So, yeah, I'm just kind of saying the same thing over and over again now. So I suppose really that kind of is what this is, you know, when you're doing these boxes, you're not always going to be 100% happy with what you get. Um, and sadly, November Birch Box has been that box so far that I'm not overly excited about. There we go, live and learn. But hopefully I've got everything crossed for December's box because it is Christmas, it is a party season. So hopefully December's box will be awesome. But yes, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Come on over to my other social media streams. So on Twitter, at SoapboxSusie on um, Instagram, Soapbox Susie, and on Facebook, Soapbox Susie. Um, come and hit subscribe down below and join me in these little unboxing videos, plus loads of other stuff, you know, the cooking and hauls and all sorts, just general life. Um, and yeah, come and see what I'm up to and let me know what you think by liking down below and commenting. Um, and if you've got your birch box and you have the same feelings that I do, or alternatively, if you really loved this box and think it was really special, um, then let me know. But yeah, I will um, see you all again really, really soon. And um, that's it. Bye, guys.